So the name of this game is called <laughs> Advice Panel. What's going to happen is these three fine improvisational actors are going to be giving you advice uh, on a certain topic. And storytellers, you listen to this because this is what's going to inform what you're going to talk about. So um, uh, what is it that we're constantly seeking out advice on? What are we constantly pouring through magazines and websites looking for advice on? Just a, re a real thing we constantly seek advice on. Relationships. Relationships. Dating and relationships. Thank you very much. So before we take your questions on dating and relationships, and again, these three improvisational actors are going to be playing characters, giving you advice. They're not going to be them. They're going to be having personas and characters. Giving you advice on dating and relationships. You guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. Um, before we take your questions on dating and relationships, let's have our panelists introduce themselves one by one, starting on the end. Yes, ma'am, step forward. You are? I'm Jolene Mason. I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Give Jolene a round of applause. <laughs> Jolene, so Jolene, uh, uh, Jolene are you married? Are you? Yes. Yes? Yes, I am. Yeah, so uh, tell me about your husband, Jolene. Sure. My husband, Bob Smith. Billy Bob Smith is actually his name. He's the finest man in town. I married him when I was 14 years old. Uh, <laughs> wow. So, so Jolene, how long have you been married? 35 years. 35 now. years. Wow, that's a lot of Except experience. for the one break we took. Oh, you took a break. Okay. Well, give Jolene a round of applause. Our next panel, yes, ma'am, you are? My name is Groggy. <laughs> Your name is Groggy? Yes. <laughs> Give Groggy a round of applause. Uh, what you My parents had me. They don't want me. They called me Groggy. <laughs> well, the Groggy, why did that happen? Birth control no existing then. Well, wow. <laughs> that's fascinating. So, so, Groggy, I have to ask, are you in a relationship? Are you dating anyone? What's happening now? I am currently looking on OkCupid. <laughs> so, so if you're on OkCupid, you look, look for Groggy. Groggy, I have to ask you, what's the, uh, what, what do you think is, the, is, is uh, uh, what do you think leads to long-term relationship, you know, good, a, a good relationship? Tennis shoes. Good tennis shoes to catch me. <laughs> I am fast, Give Groggy a round of applause. And finally, I'll find a I am Mr. Wallen, Wallen, Wallen Chinsky. Just call me Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Get Ed a round of applause. Um, Ed, tell, us about tell the audience about yourself. Well, um, I'm an electrician sometimes. I'm a handyman sometimes. I guess you'd call me a player. I don't like the term. What, you're, you're a player? Yeah, in the sense of, you know, I don't stick around too long with one person. Oh, you're a player. Player. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah it has such a negative connotation. I don't think it should. Why? I, because you, you, I'm expressing myself. I'm out there with different people. I'm spreading the love around. I don't think you should be confined. No, I agree. Give, 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 give Ed a round of applause. <laughs> Questions. Any questions anyone has about dating and relationships, go ahead and shout them out. Just raise your hand and shout them out. It's okay. It's nothing bad to just, just, just ask us a question. So, yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma How long should you wait before you have sex with someone? That, that's a fantastic question. You know, we always hear that you should wait till the third date. That's the magic date to get physical. Jolene, um, what do you think is the ideal time to, to get physical? Well, I believe my mama told me I should wait till after I got married, and that was probably a good thing because being a really young girl, I didn't know much about the ways of the men and sex and all of that. So I'm glad I wait. I would suggest that you wait until after you get married. Yeah, wait. Wait. wait uh, yes. Yeah. After. Yeah. Give a round of applause for that. Thank you. Um, Groggy, how many? How many? How many dates? When, 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 when did you get physical relationships? Groggy put out first date. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what, 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 why, why, do you, why do you do that, Groggy? Groggy has standards. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Groggy, if you have standards, why do you put out first date? Groggy very lonely. <laughs> Aww. Aww. What, so, Groggy, why do you think you're very lonely? I don't have tennis shoes. Ah, that makes perfect sense. Give Groggy a round of applause. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. When should you get physical, and, and under what circumstances? Do you well, think? I think shortly before you get their name. I, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> what, 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 like before you get their name. Yeah, you can't be waiting around. Life just passes by. You got to get in there and do yeah. it. You know. But don't you have to meet the person first? Right, but you can have conversation stuff later. Oh, good point. So just, <laughs> even before you meet, you should have sex then. Right? Oh yes, yeah, essential. <laughs> good stage. <laughs> Give that a round of applause for me. Uh, yeah. Any questions uh, about dating relationships? Go and 
chat about it. This is the part where you just shout stuff out. We make yes, ma'am. What do you feel about interest fees these days? Oh, yes, of course. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of question you want to hear. Fairfax, Virginia. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, interspecies dating, Jolene, what's your take on this? Well, well, thank you for asking that. I appreciate that because, as you know, in Chattanooga, things are a little different than they are here. Right. So I did grow up with some young folks who did prefer to date other species of types of creatures. I personally don't do it. It's not for me, but to each his own. I think Groggy may have another answer. <laughs> Groggy, uh, is Jillian right? Do you have another answer about interspecies dating? Groggy very lonely. <laughs> Groggy has no choice. Groggy has to do it that way. So, so, so keep, keep, keep your options open, is that right, Groggy? Groggy always keep options open. Okay, Cupid, no options. <laughs> Poor Groggy. Give Groggy a yeah, your question pretty much spoke to me. I, I, <laughs> I had just been limiting myself, and now I realize I can bring in other species. My whole world is opening up right now. I gotta thank you. Th thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, man. Um, one last question for our, our uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How about all these teachers who are messing around with their students? Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a big problem. Should. <laughs> should <laughs> Should uh, teachers date their students in general? Do you find there uh, might be a moral issue around that? What do you think, Jolene? Well, you know, that, that's a great question because my husband is a teacher. Right. And I have to be honest, that is how we did meet. Wow. <laughs> so I think I might prefer not to comment on that question, but again, to each his own. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Jolene's taking the fifth on that one. Take the fifth. Give her round of applause, please. Rocky. If not, why? If so, why? Uh, that's how Groggy pay for college. <laughs> <laughs> you paid for college by just dating your teachers? Mom and Dad named me Groggy. They don't want me. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. So that's your answer. You speak your professor. Thank you, Groggy. Um, and I'm sure you can provide some clear clarity and some insight. Yeah, into substitute this. teaching. I, I've done some of that. Very rewarding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know their names, and it doesn't matter. But give that a round of applause.